everyone welcome back to my channel and for today's video we will be talking about hard drives okay so I was planning to add another hard drive to my home PC and I got this M2 NVMe SSD that I will be installing on my home PC and I just wanted to share it with you guys because a lot of you wanted me to talk about computer hardware as well so today we'll be talking about hard drive so if you are interested please keep on watching and let's get started with the video okay so before we get started with the video just a disclaimer that i am not an expert when it comes to computer hardware especially hard drives i just wanted to share my experience working with hard drives and the practical use of it so i'm not gonna go deep into the details and all the technicalities of the hard drive Okay, so let's talk about hard drives first, the basic of hard drives, what are the types of hard drives, types of interfaces, the speed, the sizes, which is better for your needs, and so on. So for starters, let's talk about what a hard drive is. So hard drive is a piece or component of hardware that just stores our digital files. It can be our pictures, documents, music, videos, and most especially our operating system. So, so the hard drive is what boots our operating systems. It is also non-volatile which means that you will never lose the data even if your machine or computer will be powered off. Not like the RAM or random access memory that loses all its content when the machine is powered off. Also, hard drives can be external or internal. Internal is when you install the hard drives inside the computer or the laptop or the machine. And an external hard drive attaches to the outside of a computer through a USB, for example. So there are two types of hard drives. We have the HDD and the SSD. So let's get started with the HDD first because it's the older one. Okay, so HDD stands for hardest drive and we often call it spinners at work because it has a moving part that rotates during reading and writing operations. Okay, so these are examples of HDD. The most common brands are from Western Digital and Seagate and as you can see, it has this round part in here that is what spins or rotates when it is reading or writing. So that's why we call it spinner because it has moving parts that rotates here. Okay, so let's talk about SSD now, and SSD stands for Solid State Drive. These are used in newer computers now, and compared to the HDD, it doesn't have any moving parts. It uses integrated circuits or chips, which makes them durable faster and more quiet than the HDD. Okay, so this is what an SSD looks like. It's much, so much more smaller and thinner and more lightweight than the HDD because it doesn't have moving parts just like the spinners so when you compare it right next to each other it's so much more compact so instead of the moving parts in the HDD it uses IC integrated circuits or chips that's why it's so much smaller so this form factor is a 2.5 inches so this is what's commonly used in desktops aside from this size there's also other form factors just like the m2 which is getting popular nowadays because it's perfect for laptops and even desktops uses it now nowadays and that's the hard drive that i am adding to my computer i'm going to show you later on what an m2 looks like okay so now let's talk about which one is better is it the hdd or the ssd so the answer to that is it depends on what you need it for of course HDD has its own advantages and so does SSD so let us compare their advantages so we can evaluate which one is the best fit for you so let's start with the older model the HDD or the hard disk drive just like this so these are cheaper because uh, maybe the materials are cheaper to make and manufacture I'm not entirely sure about that but they are cheaper compared to the SSDs and they also have more storage capacity uh, SSD also has big storage capacities but you can get a really large storage capacity with HDD for a much cheaper price compared to SSD so for example you wanted an 8 terabyte of storage 
HDD is so much cheaper compared to solid state drive. So now let's move on to the advantages of SSD. So there's a long list that I compiled in the research about this and there's a lot of advantages with the SSD over an HDD. So let's start off with the first on the list and that SSD are quieter than HDD. So because SSD doesn't have the moving parts and it doesn't spin just like the HDD, SSDs are quieter. And the faster your HDD is, the noisier it gets because it spins faster because it has all the moving parts. So SSD is quieter. Next, of course, is the size. So if you compare the two, SSD is so much smaller than HDD. That's why it's more compatible for newer devices, newer desktops that are really small nowadays. Also, SSDs are more faster than HDDs. They are more faster to put up your operating system and more faster to transfer your files. Also, SSDs are more durable than the HDDs because there's no moving parts to it. The moving parts tend to damage or break over time, especially if it keeps on spinning for years and years. So, SSDs are more durable. So, there you have it. Now we know what the advantages of both the hard drives are. So, it just depends on what you need it for. What are you using your hard drives for if you want to go for an HDD or SSD? So if you are after the budget and storage capacity, you can go for the hard drive or the HDD. If you want speed, uh, performance, and the form factor, go for a solid state drive. But it also depends, so you don't just have to pick one, you can have both of them. So there are instances that you can have both the SSD and the HDD, for example. So the HDD hard disk drive is most useful to those who are collecting videos. If you have a lot of videos and you really don't care about speed, you are not editing videos or gaming on your PC and you just collect and download a lot of videos and movies, you might go after the HDD because it's cheaper for a bigger storage capacity. But then if you are after speed, faster performance, go for an SSD. If you're rendering videos, of course you would want a hard drive that can handle the speed you want to be able to produce and render videos in a shorter period of time. And if you are gaming, SSDs are also better. But then why sell for one when you can have both? So for example, if you are editing and you need the rendering speed for your videos, you can have an SSD for your operating systems or applications and especially for your video editor. And then you can just save all of the archives or the exported videos on an HDD. So that can be a different storage base. So you can have both as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about the different interfaces that we use with hard drives. So when we say interfaces, it is just the connection that we use to connect our motherboard to our hard drive. So there are, for now, I think there are four different interfaces. Let's start with the parallel advanced technology attachment. So this is one of the old and legacy interface. We don't use it anymore as much and it was replaced by SATA that you guys are probably more aware of or familiar with. Okay, so here we got the PETA parallel advanced technology attachment here. It's using a, this is an IDE hard drive and this is what the pins look like. So in here is the Molex power. This would be for the jumper if you want like a master-slave relationship and this is for the ribbon, the IDE ribbon. So this is an older interface that we have been using for computers. Okay, so another interface is the SATA. It replaced the parallel one to serial. So it's called Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. So it's more common for like desktops, the older hard drives too. And they are thinner cables compared to the parallel one. So I have a hard drive in here and this is what a SATA interface is. And this is the SATA cable. There's two different connectors for this. There is one for the power and one for the data. Okay, so there's also another interface that's called Small Computer System Interface or the SCSI interface and it is an upgrade from the Parallel and the SATA. 
So I'm not an expert on hard drives or hardware at all, but as far as I have seen at work and in my experience, we use this kind of hard drives for servers, mainly because one of the advantages of this is that we can have multiple drives uh, daisy chained into a single connection and it's for servers that are being used 24-7. Okay, so last interface that I'm going to be talking about is the NVMe or the Non-Volatile Memory Express, which is newer and and is found in a lot of the newer SSDs nowadays. So the NVMEs provide higher performance and scalability and also low power consumption which is perfect for a lot of mobile devices right now especially laptops because we want our batteries to last longer. I will be installing my M.2 NVMe hard drive on the next video so if you want to check that out please watch that video as well. So I hope that you guys learned from this video and I hope that you enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more videos.